What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and today we are looking at the insert for Jin. It's from In My Box, of course, you know I review almost all of their inserts, so let me show you how everything is sorted out in it and how everything works. Okay, so of course on the top we have the rule book and then the main board which is uh, secured by this little notch so it doesn't slide it, it's also secured over here that's something that I really enjoy with the in my box inserts over here each of the player components of these player boards is set up like so in this so it doesn't move anywhere which is also really cool then all kinds of different little things are up here and as you can see there's like a, this like a screen heat printed however it is called thing going on over here this is official insert for the gin so yeah uh, over here we have a player box and each player box contains on the top spot you can see all the cards everything all the components for a player and uh, then this one, which is really cool, it just slides like this and then it opens, which is really awesome. So it's like this sliding mechanism uh, that keeps it secure. And down here we have all the potions and resources like the scrolls and all that. So that's all kept in here. And you just slide it like this and it will not go anywhere. It's completely proof that there's not going to be a running or loose resources around, you know. And uh, over here you have a bag with the gin tokens inside. So tokens, miniatures, however you want to call them, these guys. So that's put up in here. There's also some, I think this is like was a promo stuff or something like that. And this one also has this slide mechanism going on. And you keep the keys and you can see, of course, it's screen printed down here. It even tells you how many keys you get. You get 12 keys per game so you know if you maybe lose some you know or something like that so you can check out for those and the uh, next big thing is this box it's a coin box which of course holds all the coins the little ones the big ones and these big gins that once they are gone the game end is triggered you know all that so that's all kept in here like this and it's closed then all of the cards and this is really nice because this really is a fast setup uh, the, the game itself is set up much faster because these cards you can shuffle them when you put the game back in the box and you just take it out on the table and you're ready to play so that's really awesome so that's down here uh, as I said this is over here so we have a cards for solo play are in here and as you can see they are even uh, sleeved and still fit inside really nicely you can take them out really easily put them back in so that's really awesome and then we have a treasure box that gets you get to keep all the treasures in here you can just take this out and put it on a board where the treasures should be and you can just pull from this once you are done you just put everything back like this and like this and you are set to you know like put the game back so this insert really helps you out a lot. So we have a core box on the upper level. We have these like uh, tokens that are like bottle caps for the jeans when you keep them in your bottles. Again, sliding action going on over here. And uh, these are the tokens when you catch a certain amount of jeans. Again, you can just remove this and set this up as is. You know, it helps you out set up the game way, way faster than you would usually take if it's all in the baggies and everything and uh, over here there's a character tile box these are picked at the start of each game randomly I mean they're randomly chosen then you pick from them and you choose what will your advantages and disabilities be and on this downside you just keep all of these cards for when you need to collect them because you need to collect like all three of these to get some extra benefits and all that stuff and as I said again uh, they are of course uh, sleeved they fit really nicely there's even some wiggle room which is really awesome and the thing is when you put the game back in a box you just reshuffle these and you are prepared you just take them out of the box and you are ready to play the game so yeah that's insert for gin 
uh, as I said, it functions. It, it does what insert should do. It helps you set up the game a little bit faster, which is really awesome. I always like that. Uh, if I can set up the game, if I can spend less time setting up the game, I'm automatically interested. So like, for example, Voidfall is a game that you need like a huge setup for. Insert would not help it. it it's just like that. But for games like this, when you have these like tiles or, or, or when you need to like put... Uh, these cards on the table, you know, if they're in a bag, once you get them out of the bag, then shuffle them, put them on a bag. So you can now just do it like this, you know, you can shuffle them once you are done with the game, you can just shuffle them all up, put them in a box like that, and you know they are like pre-shuffled, ready to get played. So yeah, that was Insert for Gin. Thank you all for watching, from me in my box, of course. Thank you all for watching, thank you for subscribing, for spending time with me, for all that, for supporting me on Patreon, for likes, for comments. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you all and uh, until next time, pozdrav.